Zechariah, Chapter 9, A Revelation. Yahweh's word is against the land of Hadrach and will rest upon Damascus. For the eye of man and of all the tribes of Israel is toward Yahweh, and Hamath also, which borders on it. Tyre and Sidon, because they are very wise. Tyre built herself a stronghold, and heaped up silver like the dust, and fine gold like the mire of the streets. Behold, the Lord will dispossess her, and he will strike her power in the sea, and she will be devoured with fire. Ashkelon will see it and fear, Gaza also, and will writhe in agony, as will Ekron, for her expectation will be disappointed, and the king will perish from Gaza, and Ashkelon will not be inhabited. Foreigners will dwell in Ashdod, and I will cut off the pride of the Philistines. I will take away his blood out of his mouth and his abominations from between his teeth. And he also will be a remnant for our God, and he will be as a chieftain in Judah, and Ekron as a Jebusite. I will encamp around my house against the army, that no one pass through or return, and no oppressor will pass through them any more. For now I have seen with my eyes. Rejoice greatly, daughter of Zion. Shout, daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king comes to you. He is righteous and having salvation, lowly and riding on a donkey, even on a colt, the foal of a donkey. I will cut off the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem, and the battle bow will be cut off, and he will speak peace to the nations, and his dominion will be from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. As for you also, because of the blood of your covenant, I have set free your prisoners from the pit in which is no water. Turn to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope. Even today I declare that I will restore double to you, for indeed I bend Judah as a bow for me. I have filled the bow with Ephraim, and I will stir up your sons, Zion, against your sons, Greece, and will make you like the sword of a mighty man. Yahweh will be seen over them, and his arrow will go flash like lightning. And the Lord Yahweh will blow the trumpet, and will go with whirlwinds of the south. Yahweh of armies will defend them, and they will destroy and overcome with sling stones, and they will drink and roar as through wine, and they will be filled like bowls, like the corners of the altar. Yahweh their God will save them in that day as the flock of his people, for they are like the jewels of a crown, lifted on high over his land. For how great is his goodness, and how great is his beauty! Grain will make the young men flourish, and new wine the virgins. Chapter 10 Ask of Yahweh rain in the springtime, Yahweh who makes storm clouds, and he gives rain showers to everyone for the plants in the field. For the teraphim have spoken vanity, and the diviners have seen a lie, and they have told false dreams. They comfort in vain. Therefore they go their way like sheep. They are oppressed because there is no shepherd. My anger is kindled against the shepherds, and I will punish the male goats. For Yahweh of armies has visited his flock, the house of Judah, and will make them as his majestic horse in the battle. From him will come the cornerstone, from him the nail, from him the battle bow, from him every ruler together. They shall be as mighty men, 
treading down muddy streets in the battle, and they shall fight, because Yahweh is with them, and the riders on horses will be confounded. I will strengthen the house of Judah, and I will save the house of Joseph, and I will bring them back, for I have mercy on them. And they will be as though I had not cast them off, for I am Yahweh their God, and I will hear them. Ephraim will be like a mighty man, and their heart will rejoice as through wine. Yes, their children will see it and rejoice. Their heart will be glad in Yahweh. I will signal for them and gather them, for I have redeemed them, and they will increase as they have increased. I will sow them among the peoples, and they will remember me in far countries, and they will live with their children and will return. I will bring them again also out of the land of Egypt and gather them out of Assyria. And I will bring them into the land of Gilead and Lebanon, and there won't be room enough for them. He will pass through the sea of affliction and will strike the waves in the sea, and all the depths of the Nile will dry up, and the pride of Assyria will be brought down and the scepter of Egypt will depart. I will strengthen them in Yahweh, and they will walk up and down in his name, says Yahweh. Chapter 11 Open your doors, Lebanon, that the fire may devour your cedars. Well, cypress tree, for the cedar has fallen, because the stately ones are destroyed. Wail, you oaks of Bashan, for the strong forest has come down, a voice of the wailing of the shepherds, for their glory is destroyed, a voice of the roaring of young lions, for the pride of the Jordan is ruined. Yahweh my God says, Feed the flock of slaughter. Their buyers slaughter them and go unpunished. Those who sell them say, Blessed be Yahweh, for I am rich. And their own shepherds don't pity them. For I will no more pity the inhabitants of the land, says Yahweh. But behold, I will deliver the men, everyone, into his neighbor's hand and into the hand of his king. They will strike the land, and out of their hand I will not deliver them. So I fed the flock of slaughter, especially the oppressed of the flock. I took for myself two staffs, the one I called favor, and the other I called union, and I fed the flock. I cut off the three shepherds in one month, for my soul was weary of them, and their soul also loathed me. Then I said, I will not feed you. That which dies, let it die, and that which is to be cut off, let it be cut off, and let those who are left eat each other's flesh. I took my staff, favor, and cut it apart, that I might break my covenant that I had made with all the peoples. It was broken in that day, and thus the poor of the flock that listened to me knew that it was Yahweh's word. I said to them, If you think it best, give me my wages, and if not, keep them. So they weighed for my wages thirty pieces of silver. Yahweh said to me, Throw it to the potter, the handsome price that I was valued at by them. I took the thirty pieces of silver and threw them to the potter in Yahweh's house. Then I cut apart my other staff, even union, that I might break the brotherhood between Judah and Israel. Yahweh said to me, Take for yourself yet again the equipment of a foolish shepherd, for, behold, I will raise up a shepherd in the land who will not visit those who are cut off, neither will seek those who are scattered, 
nor heal that which is broken, nor feed that which is sound. But he will eat the meat of the fat sheep, and will tear their hoofs in pieces. Woe to the worthless shepherd who leaves the flock. The sword will be on his arm and on his right eye. His arm will be completely withered, and his right eye will be totally blinded. Chapter 12 A Revelation Yahweh's Word Concerning Israel Yahweh, who stretches out the heavens and lays the foundation of the earth and forms the spirit of man within him, says, Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of reeling to all the surrounding peoples, and it will also be on Judah in the siege against Jerusalem. It will happen in that day that I will make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all the peoples. All who burden themselves with it will be severely wounded, and all the nations of the earth will be gathered together against it. In that day, says Yahweh, I will strike every horse with terror and his rider with madness, and I will open my eyes on the house of Judah and will strike every horse of the peoples with blindness. The chieftains of Judah will say in their heart, The inhabitants of Jerusalem are my strength in Yahweh of armies, their God. In that day, I will make the chieftains of Judah like a pan of fire among wood and like a flaming torch among sheaves, and they will devour all the surrounding peoples on the right hand and on the left. And Jerusalem will yet again dwell in their own place, even in Jerusalem. Yahweh also will save the tents of Judah first, that the glory of David's house and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem not be magnified above Judah. In that day, Yahweh will defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. He who is feeble among them at that day will be like David, and David's house will be like God, like Yahweh's angel before them. It will happen in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. I will pour on David's house and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplication, and they will look to me, whom they have pierced. And they shall mourn for him, as one mourns for his only son, and will grieve bitterly for him, as one grieves for his firstborn. In that day there will be a great mourning in Jerusalem, like the mourning of Hadadrimon in the valley of Megiddo. The land will mourn, every family apart the family of David's house, apart, and their wives, apart, the family of the house of Nathan, apart, and their wives, apart, the family of the house of Levi, apart, and their wives, apart, the family of the Shimeites, apart, and their wives, apart, all the families who remain, every family, apart, and their wives apart. Chapter 13 In that day there will be a spring opened to David's house and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem for sin and for uncleanness. It will come to pass in that day, says Yahweh of armies, that I will cut off the names of the idols out of the land, and they will be remembered no more. I will also cause the prophets and the spirit of impurity to pass out of the land. It will happen that, when anyone still prophesies, then his father and his mother who bore him will tell him, You must die because you speak lies in Yahweh's name. And his father and his mother who bore him will stab him when he prophesies. It will happen in that day that the prophets will each be ashamed of his vision when he prophesies. Neither will they wear a hairy mantle to deceive. But he will say, I am no prophet, I am a tiller of the ground, for I have been made a bondservant from my youth. 
one will say to him, What are these wounds between your arms? Then he will answer, Those with which I was wounded in the house of my friends. Awake, sword, against my shepherd, and against the man who is close to me, says Yahweh of armies. Strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be scattered, and I will turn my hand against the little ones. It shall happen that in all the land, says Yahweh, two parts in it will be cut off and die, but the third will be left in it. I will bring the third part into the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will test them like gold is tested. They will call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, It is my people. And they will say, Yahweh is my God. Chapter 14 Behold, a day of Yahweh comes, when your plunder will be divided within you. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city will be taken, the houses rifled, and the women ravished. Half of the city will go out into captivity, and the rest of the people will not be cut off from the city. Then Yahweh will go out and fight against those nations, as when he fought in the day of battle. His feet will stand in that day on the Mount of Olives, which is before Jerusalem on the east, and the Mount of Olives will be split in two, from east to west, making a very great valley. Half of the mountain will move toward the north, and half of it toward the south. You shall flee by the valley of my mountains, for the valley of the mountains shall reach to Azel. Yes, you shall flee, just like you fled from before the earthquake in the days of Uzziah, king of Judah. Yahweh my God will come, and all the holy ones with you. It will happen in that day that there will not be light, cold, or frost. It will be a unique day, which is known to Yahweh, not day and not night, but it will come to pass that at evening time there will be light. It will happen in that day that living waters will go out from Jerusalem, half of them toward the eastern sea and half of them toward the western sea. It will be so in summer and in winter. Yahweh will be king over all the earth. In that day, Yahweh will be one, and his name one. All the land will be made like the Arabah, from Geba to Rimmon, south of Jerusalem. And she will be lifted up, and will dwell in her place, from Benjamin's gate to the place of the first gate, to the corner gate, and from the tower of Hananel to the king's wine presses. Men will dwell therein, and there will be no more curse, but Jerusalem will dwell safely. This will be the plague with which Yahweh will strike all the peoples who have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh will consume away while they stand on their feet, and their eyes will consume away in their sockets, and their tongue will consume away in their mouth. It will happen in that day that a great panic from Yahweh will be among them, and they will each hold on to the hand of his neighbor, and his hand will rise up against the hand of his neighbor. Judah also will fight at Jerusalem, and the wealth of all the surrounding nations will be gathered together, gold and silver and clothing in great abundance. A plague like this will fall on the horse, on the mule, on the camel, on the donkey, and on all the animals that will be in those camps. It will happen that everyone who is left of all the nations that came against Jerusalem will go up from year to year to worship the king, Yahweh of armies, and to keep the feast of booths. It will be that whoever of all the families of the earth doesn't go up to Jerusalem to worship the king, Yahweh of armies, on them there will be no rain. If the family of Egypt doesn't go up and doesn't come, 
neither will it rain on them. This will be the plague with which Yahweh will strike the nations that don't go up to keep the feast of booths. This will be the punishment of Egypt and the punishment of all the nations that don't go up to keep the feast of booths. In that day, there will be on the bales of the horses, holy to Yahweh, and the pots in Yahweh's house will be like the bowls before the altar. Yes, every pot in Jerusalem and in Judah will be holy to Yahweh of armies, and all those who sacrifice will come and take of them and cook in them. In that day, there will no longer be a Canaanite in the house of Yahweh of armies.